Hi everyone, I'm Avery, and today I want to be teaching you how to use the Minivan app on your phone to help you canvas. So let's get started. First, you're going to need to open up the Minivan app on your phone. If you don't have it, you can find that in both the iTunes Store, if you have an iPhone, or in the Google Play Store if you have an Android, like a Samsung. Go ahead and type in Minivan Touch, that's the actual name of it in the store. When you find it, download it and open it up. Your screen should look something like this. Now if you've never used the Minivan app before, the first thing you're going to need to do is create an Action ID. That's how you're going to log in. So go ahead and click the middle button, create your Action ID, fill out your information, and then you should come back to the main screen, log in with your Action ID. Let's go ahead and do that. Once you've logged in with your Action ID, this is the screen that you should be seeing. It's pretty blank and you've only got a spot that says enter a list number or available list. And you probably don't have anything sitting there. It's probably blank and that's okay. So you'll click on enter a list number. We'll go ahead and enter that. Once you have that list number, go ahead and click download list. This is how your screen should look. You'll see in alphabetical order, A, B, C, a list of addresses, and it's ordered by street. One circle means one person is at that address, two circles, two people at the address, three circles, three people at the address, and so on. You can also change how your screen looks by clicking on the top left, the three horizontal bars, and you can change it by map mode if you would like. This is something that I sometimes do. And when I do this, I can take a look at the surrounding houses next to my location that are on this list. Now the list that I have pulled up here is actually a much larger list than what you will have. But if I use this in map mode, I can see these icons. There are nine people in this location, five people, one person. I wanna go ahead and click on the one that just says there's one person there. It'll give me the address, it tells me there's one person there, and when I click on that box, I see the person's name. When I click on that, I now have a script that comes up with several important things. The first one is, were you able to make contact with this person? If I knock on the door, nobody answers, or maybe somebody does, but they tell me that they've moved. Um, maybe that address is inaccessible, there's a locked gate, maybe there's a dog, whatever the reason is. You will click on the top right button here, the slider, and turn it from orange to gray. And then I can click the reason that I was not able to meet this person. Maybe they weren't home, maybe they moved. Whatever the case is, I indicate that. Hit the back arrow, and you'll see kind of a grayed out MV for moved. So I have now indicated I have gone and knocked on that door. But if that person was there, I go ahead and leave that slider uh, crossed over to the right so that it's orange. Usually there is a script here that I can follow, or in this case, there's some key points that remind me of things that I would like to discuss with the individuals while I'm out canvassing. And then if there are any survey questions, those will be down at the bottom here. And in this particular case, I can see that one of these survey questions would like me to ask the person, which political party do you most identify with or plan to vote for in the upcoming election? And if I click on that question, I can now answer it with the response that they give me. Hopefully it's Democrat. I will click that and then you'll see that it is answered. After I go through the list here, if there are any notes that I would like to leave, perhaps for future canvassers or for the people back in the office, I can click on that. And let's say they have a small friendly dog. This might be useful for future canvassers to know so that if they come to the house at a later time, they'll know what you encountered. In the event that this person would like to update their email or phone numbers, you can do that by clicking on the details button at the top, scrolling down to the bottom. And by the way, I should mention that in this location, it does tell you what house district they're in, what Senate district they're in, and what congressional district they're in. So if the individual that you're speaking with has any questions, you can help answer those, including what their polling address would be. Here's where you could help enter their phone number if they don't have one or would like to update it, or where you could enter an email address if they would like to give you one. 
We're now back in script mode here. After you've asked these questions and answered them, left any notes that could be useful for the campaign or for future canvassers, simply click the back arrow, the back arrow, and now you can move on to the next location. If you're unsure of which way to go, this is a useful tidbit. You can click on those three horizontal bars and click Find My Next Door. And what the app will do is find the physical closest address. In this case, I see that it is 0.1 miles away from me, so I would click on that. And then click on the first name that comes up. And then continue on with the script. Hopefully you've got a little bit of a handle on how to go from door to door, how to read the script, input any survey questions that you may have, and how to find the next door. You don't have to worry about syncing the data, but it is always advisable that in the top right corner, when you are done canvassing, or even after every door, to go ahead and click the little icon there, the two arrows in a circle, to tell you that the data has been synced. If you need to enter a new list number, let's say that you have finished the current one that you were given, and you would like to continue on, simply click the three horizontal bars, download a new list, go ahead and download the new list, and then enter that new list number and click download list, and it'll bring you up the next set of doors to go canvas on. This is extremely useful, it's efficient, it's fast, it's paperless, um, it makes the process a lot smoother, a lot easier, both for the people canvassing and for the people back at the office. We get the results immediately and we can see how individuals that are out there canvassing are doing. We can see how many doors that they've knocked on and we can see what their success rate is. That helps us identify neighborhoods that we need to spend more time in or perhaps it's just the wrong time of day or perhaps it's just uh, the wrong location and we need to adjust accordingly. So the minivan app, again in the store is minivan touch, is a useful app to help you canvas. Hopefully this tutorial has helped you out. Thanks.